Hey, 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 welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Yes, time for another beer review. Bill's Brews. These are uh, one of that, if you've been following me long enough, you know, maybe a week or so or whatever. If you watch a couple of my other videos, you know that I get Bill from beer from Bill, <laughs> not Bill's from beers, and that awesome four pack that he gave me. And I promised to drink a lot of them in front of you so that I could tell you what I thought of them. Um, maybe make some of you jealous. I don't know, Elena from the Alchemist Brewery. Um, so from Vermont, they make Hetty Topper as well as some other beers, maybe Crusher, I don't know. Maybe we'll review that. I'm trying to go in alphabetical order here. Uh, but I already did Hetty Topper, so I don't know my alphabet. Anyway, this is an American IPA 7.7 um, uh, alcohol by the volume, sorry. Um, it has, let's see what we got here. We got on Beer Advocate, I think it's a 4.21. So I don't really give ratings on my beer. Um, like I do with my movie reviews, but let's see what we got here. I like the can. I like the colors. And they're little hops, if you can't tell. They're hops going around the can. It's pretty neat. Um, so, I got uh, somewhat of a decent glass here. I don't know what you're supposed to drink them out of. This one does not say drink out of the can like Hetty Topper. Alright. Nice pour. Let's see, I'm, I'm probably putting too much head on top of it. That's okay. Sorry about that. We'll let it come down but you can see the color of it. It's a little hazy, maybe a chill haze, not so much a New England IPA. Probably too much head on this, my fault. Um, I will not wipe my nose and put it in there to do it, but let's see if we can get a good quaff, if you will, of the... Uh... Mm, this one smells, and I always call it like dank, you know, and I think there's like a certain hops that are very citrusy, and this is just mine. This is, I, don't, I could be completely wrong, this is how I describe things. Citrusy, smell like when you open up an orange or a grapefruit and you get that citrus smell. And then I have like the dank smell, which is more like wet grass to me in a sense. Um, you know what I mean? Maybe not wet, but wet something. <laughs> wet hops, I guess. Yeah, wet hops, dry hops, I know. But that's what it smells like to me. I don't really smell much else. I'm going to take a sip even though there's a little bit of foam on it. But let's see what it's like. Oh, it hits you right in the beginning. It's, and again, I'm, I'm making up terms as I go, but it's, I want to say stringent. I don't know if that's the right term. It really hits you right up front. Not, there's no creaminess about it, although it might look creamy, you know, because it's, there's a little haze and a little head. But it's not. It's, it's thinner. It's very thin, I think. Again, making this stuff up as I go. Told you I'm not really good at this. I'm just good at drinking them, but figure... This is a beer review for the common man. Not for those uh, beer experts, I don't think. <laughs> itchy on the nose. It's a nose. This nose makes you itch a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, that hits you right up front. Very good. It's not. It doesn't have that that lingering hop taste afterwards. You know, that stays with you. I don't know. I don't know why that happens, but like. If I give my wife an IPA and she takes a sip and she's like, oh, afterwards. This doesn't have that. This is more front hoppy than it is like the aftertaste hoppiness. And that's what I'm getting. But again, it's more of the um, the wet grass hop, the dankness, I think, instead of the more fruity, citrusy. It's, it's, that's what I'm tasting. And again, very thin, not, uh, not creamy. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what I'm really getting here. I, I told you, I think in the last review that I told you I would try and figure out what the uh, hop ingredients were, and I forgot. I opened it and started drinking it and started recording, so I don't know. <laughs> Maybe when I edit this, I'll figure it out, and I'll put it in the comments. Maybe I won't. You have to figure it out. Hold on. Yeah, so... Uh, reading off of Beer Advocate, it's uh, floral, dank, wintergreen, eucalyptus leaf, and aloe vera. Light peach, I don't get that, the mango, overripe honeydew. I mean, these people's palates are extreme. <laughs> I don't get any of that. Honey and caramel maltiness, a hint of toffee, finishes bitter with pine needles and grapefruit. I, mean, I get the pine needles. That's probably all I get out of this. It's still very good. I enjoyed it, I'm just so hopefully this didn't come across the wrong way. I do like this beer a lot, I'm just trying to explain it. I mean, I have 
kind of moved into the more creamy, citrusy type IPAs. Not that this is a bad thing. But there you have it. I, I mean, it is, it is absolutely delicious. I do like it a lot. I'm going to pour the rest of it in there. So, I don't know. That's what I got out of it. Hopefully that describes it at least a little bit for you. If you find it and you drink it, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Maybe you have a better palate than I do, but this is, you know, an underdeveloped palate. Probably a rune palate. I drank a lot of bad beers when I was younger, and therefore I don't, uh, I can't describe the things that I taste. I just enjoy them. So, anyway, that's enough. Thanks for tuning in. Camel's Irish Pub.